Raspberry Pi plus Crypto Miner. Yes, today we are getting wild and doing things that we should never do. We're gonna be creating a CPU miner using Raspberry Pi. We're gonna connect it to a pooling service so that we can earn money. Keep in mind, this is a low process device, so we're not gonna be exactly quitting our day job after this, but it's a great educational exercise and I think it's gonna be very informative. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so on the left here, I am remote desktoped into my Raspberry Pi, and on the right, I am SSH'd into the Raspberry Pi. And we want to run crypto mining. So the first thing I would do is make sure that we have a miner gate uh, pooling account set up. So for those of you who don't know, a crypto pool is after you get rich from cryptocurrency, you have a pool party with all your friends. No, actually a crypto pool is when people combine their computing resources and get paid out based on the amount of compute that they're able to add to the pool. So I'm just gonna navigate over to Minergate. Okay, so I have Minergate set up here and we're gonna be mining Monero. So it currently says we're offline, that is right. So the, the script that I wanna use is this guy here, CPU Miner Multi for multi-core. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and grab the repo. We'll come back over to our Raspberry Pi. One thing I'm gonna do is make myself root. So I'm gonna do sudo su dash. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is make sure our Raspberry Pi is up to date. So we're gonna do sudo apt upgrade and update. Okay, and then we have two commands here that are gonna help us uh, compile the code from source. Let's just clone this repo. So git clone, now we're downloading the directory. Okay, let's go into directory here. And I believe there is a build file. Yeah, build.sha, so let's just run that. Okay, so now we're gonna execute the miner script and the last argument is the email address that we use to sign up with on Minergate. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button so we get it out to a wider audience. Thank you. Okay, so we got an error here. So here's the issue. This port is a non-standard port and my router is gonna is blocking this port. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes to my router's firewall in order to allow traffic over this port. Um, be mindful of how you do this because you're in effect weakening your firewall. So just keep that in mind. I'm gonna do that by going to the login portal for my firewall. Let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna go over to firewall, IPv6, actually IPv4 and we're gonna do low security. So it's still trying to mine here. Let's see if it doesn't go through. There we go. So yeah, I was able to just quickly change the firewall settings and now it's uh, showing printouts of our hash rate. Okay, so it looks like one of the shares was accepted. So let's go over to Look, now it says we're online and it's providing diagnostic information. So how much, uh, how much Monero we've mined, our status, our hash rate. Although the hash rate should be greater than zero. Let's see here. Yeah, maybe it's still coming through, but we do have an active worker, that is correct. So Minergate's just gonna provide that diagnostic information for us. And we, because we're pooling, we can cash out at any time, which is nice. Okay, so now we can see the hash rate come through. So this is how you mine cryptocurrency on a Raspberry Pi. If you wanna stay apprised of the latest around emerging techs such as IoT, Google Cloud Platform, then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you stay in the loop as we publish new content. Thanks.